Welcome everybody. This is uh, I'm using new equipment, so this will be a new test. But uh, today's topic is school capacity, and I'm pretty excited about uh, today's topic here. So what I wanted to uh, first talk about is kind of our current um, uh, program, I guess. And so right now, anticipated is between two to four hundred elementary uh, students. Two to four hundred per elementary school is kind of that that nice uh, capacity mark. And then within high schools, it's between 600 to 1,200 is that, that mark that we're kind of shooting for. And as most of you know, in this city, there's three new joint schools, which are beautiful new schools. We also have an amazing new school in the cathedral neighborhood, uh, Connaught, is, Ecole Connaught is the new school. And then we also have uh, Scott Collegiate, uh, and then the adult campus was moved this year as well. So, uh, with that, I wanted to show you some uh, projections. And with the projections, these are for the next five years, without associate schools though. So as it sits right now, we have about 20, just over 23,000 students in our school system. And out of these 23,000 students, it'd be, it's amazing to know that in the next five years, it's anticipated that there will be another 2,800 elementary schools or students, sorry, and another 800 high school students. So you add those together, that's 3,600 additional students in our school system uh, up until 2023, which is uh, absolutely amazing. And high school. So I wanted to focus on two main high schools. And the high schools are, um, well, I'll let you take a look here. The high schools have a massive projection. So Campbell is one of those I wanted to show you. Currently, it's about 1,400 students. It's projected in the next 10 years to hit just over 1,800. And Sheldon Williams, one of the, the only high school I represent in the southwest area, right now it's about 600 students. And look at this. By 2027, it's expected to be uh, almost actually over double what it currently is right now. And particularly, or why that's really happening with the Sheldon one is due to the Harbor Landing area. That development, all those new students will be, are projected to come into Sheldon. And that's a, a, a massive growth in that with the high schools. So I wanted to show you uh, next uh, enrollments across uh, elementary schools for the next 10 years, what it's projected. So uh, just hang, bear with me for a second. I'm going to quickly go through all the schools in the city uh, one by one just uh, on the screen will be the utilization numbers and I'll announce the total kids projected for 2027 so 10 years from now. Plainsview 527, McNeil 472, Centennial 373, WH Ford 275, Henry Jansen 407, George Lee 440, McClurg 641, Ruth M. Buck 540, Elsie Marinick, 364. Uh, Regular and French, 316. Rosemont Elementary, 315. Walker, 255. Dr. L. M. Hanna, 638. M. J. Coldwell, 134. Ruth M. Possum, or Ruth Possum, uh, 262. Gladys McDonald, 221. Coronation Park, 289. Imperial 265, McDermott 208, Seven Stones 365, Kitchener 195, Elbert 242, Glen Elm 343, Dr. George Ferguson 333, Judge Bryant 695, Henry Braun 445, Wilford Rock Walker 440, W.F. Uh, Reddy Elementary 327, Mackenzie, 372, Wascana Plains Regular, 724, Wascana Plains French, 286, Wilfred Hunt, 306, Harlack uh, Regular, 453, Harlack French Immersion, 271, Connaught Regular, 93, Connaught French, 238, Davin, 407, Lakeview, 380, Thompson, 247, Arcola, 508, Douglas Park, 469, Harbor Landing Regular, Big 1582, 1582, and Harbor Landing French, 519. Argyle, 335. Elthamillican, 385. Perry, 203. Marion McVitie, 320. Massey, 358. Grant Road, 467. Okay, so I just wanted to focus on a couple of the 
the main ones that I thought were uh, were actually really large. So Harbor Landing, I can barely even believe this when I first saw it, is projected to be at 264%. So 264% basically means that in the next 10 years, that's three schools that are needed in the Harbor Landing area. Within the next five years, at least another school, and again, within two or 10 years, that's a third school. So right now, the school is built for 600 students, is just uh, the model that was used. And uh, we're already over that 600 mark. I believe it's at about 650. And in Harbor Landing, there's 140 some uh, just kindergartens. So that big influx of kindergartens, which represents six classrooms right now, will be flowing through the school as a big bubble. And it's anticipated that there'll be more and more of those uh, bubbles going through the school as well. Uh, Bryant, Grant Road, Grant Elm, Hannah, all of those are above 175 percent. So those are uh, those are massive uh, amounts of uh, kids in in the schools, and potential um, the potential for overcrowding obviously is a is a is a concern. So there's, uh, besides just building new schools, you can maximize these existing spaces. Uh, there's a potential for uh, balancing enrollments along some of the other schools and, uh, or some of the other ones that have low enrollment. So what I wanted to show, also talk about, I guess, is uh, low enrollment. So right now, this is another thing that the board looks at, is, is not just high enrollments, but obviously we have to look at low enrollments and low utilization of our schools. And currently, three are identified, Ecole Cannot, the English program, as well as Ecole Cannot, uh, the French program. So that's, Ecole Cannot is a school that I represent uh, in Subdivision 3, and MJ Coldwell, which is in Uplands as well. So with the Cannot School specifically, because of the move, it's anticipated that because it's back in the heart of Cathedral, that there will be uh, more students and it'll come back to that normal amount. But as it sits right now, it is identified as a low enrollment school. And MJ Coldwell, uh, up in Uplands, there's two schools in Uplands. Right now, the uh, obviously, the, something that came across is, is the discussion around combining those into one school. Either one of those does not have the capacity to combine those schools, so that's just, uh, just another. MJ Coldwell is one that, that has to be, uh, or I has to be kept on. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is uh, this is the capital plan that's been identified. So these are our capital projects that were submitted, I believe, a year ago. It was submitted to the Ministry of Education. So before a project is approved, it has to go through the Ministry of Education for final approval. And so when we get our new list, we're going to be making sure that we look at the new projection numbers. So possibly a harbor landing uh, needs to be part of that. As you can see, it's not there right now. So currently identified from our last plan was Imperial, Argyle, Glen Elm as uh, rebuilds. And then the Southeast High School. So something down to uh, uh, relieve the pressure off of um, Campbell, our largest uh, high school there. And uh, yeah, thanks. Oh, I got, this is, I'm getting used to this new equipment, so bear with me here. Thanks a lot for tuning in on school capacity. I really appreciate your time and looking forward to uh, producing some more videos as well. And in no particular order, some of the topics I want to cover based on feedback I've got are around the kindergarten schedules. Uh, we're going to talk about the Davin uh, uh, school uh, issue, I guess, in our community. Potentially going to talk about attendance matters in the school, uh, school bus, school bus uh, or school zone. I guess safety, possibly uh, grad rates and uh, math curriculum as well as what it takes to become a trustee or the requirements, the legal requirements to become a trustee. Those are just some upcoming topics. If you have any other suggestions, I am open to it. Take care and have a great day.